My name is Brian Ryback. Um, I've never done this before, so do I need to give you my address or something? Yes, oh, name and address. Sure, Brian Ryback, um, 1171 Checkwork Circle. And, and no. I, I wanted to start by telling you a story. I was born in Spring Valley, New York, Rockland County, right over the border. And growing up, one of the things that my family loved to do together, we didn't have a lot of money, parents were both teachers in the Bronx, to be that attitude, but we didn't have money. And one of the things that we always loved to do was we always used to look to the flea market to spin out. Some of you might remember. And boy, we loved to find that pickle guy, and who knows how dirty or clean those things were, but they were fantastic. And we loved every second of being there, walking around, looking at a bunch of stuff that no one on earth has any purpose to buy. And then something happened. I call him the devil. Christopher St. Lawrence, a man who is a disgrace, an absolute disgrace, somebody whom I have seen personally standing on election night amongst many people who decided to bankroll his campaign. That after he won, he decided to lift all of the blocks that were preventing high density situations in different neighborhoods. He removed them. And as a result of that, what had been broken up into Wesley Hills and some other areas wound up being a situation where it was a free-for-all. Goes with is just a proposal, it's very simple. You have no idea what you are up against. No. Not here. that I highly suggest, as someone who grew up in this mess, is that you get a constitutional lawyer, <coughs> third party, to attend to this and take care of it. I'm not actually entirely clear on what the restriction is of what it is we can and can't speak about. I only wanted to speak to the to the issue at hand. If you like to speak as to overcrowding in the parks and you want to keep it very generic, we don't have an objection to that. Well, let me just, I, I, I think I think I made my point about the first issue that you mentioned. The, the other thing I would say as an important fact is that one of the prior speakers mentioned the Mao Strong organization and the large number of people that are here today. I think it's absolutely accurate to say that the large number of people here is a reflection of the interest in this topic. I would ask the council to be aware of the fact that I think you have a diverse group of people here in terms of why they're interested in this topic. And I don't think that every person that's here today is here because they want the a roof taken down and we want to make sure that the council is taking okay, steps. I don't understand. I thought that's what the is about. No. Let me, let me back up a minute, okay? We're not here this evening, and again, you may not have heard this. I'm sorry. We're not here this evening. We are not here this evening to discuss the Arab or any particular religious group. We're not entertaining any comments from the public, nor will this body respond to any such comments. If you well, I'm sorry, why, why, why are we here? <laughs> Enforcement of the sign ordinance, I don't have a concern about that. 
I would again remind everyone to stay away from discussing the Arab and anything pertaining to a particular religious group. My concern is, is that I don't want any comments made by the public or by this body that could give rise to any sort of liability. Okay? Okay. Well, I'll just make one last comment about the sign ordinance, and I think I appreciate your attention, and I believe we've completed our, our comments anyway. Um, I, I don't believe that a piece of pipe with no words or symbols on it constitutes a sign, and so I'll just leave it at that. New Jersey. Um, so, uh, first and foremost, I think the mayor and the council, the police department, have done a tremendous job in fast action. Uh, we've done a great job of playing chess. Count, uh, checkers, so to speak, countering their moves with our moves. However, we have to be a step ahead. Um, we have to be playing chess while they play checkers. We need to uh, reach out to the communities of Lakewood, New Jersey. Okay, sir. Not allowing these Okay, well, um, uh, simple two bird, one stone solution. Um, we should bury the cables. Put them underground. There'll be no poles to put PVC piping on. Okay, Council President. So I was I was under the impression that tonight's meeting was in regards to this. Let's back up a minute, okay? This all emanated out of the letter that was sent by the zoning officer with respect to zoning violation. If you'd like to speak about the zoning violation, I don't have a concern about that. Now, to be clear, what happened here is that O and R permitted the error to be put on these poles, okay? The poles are within the municipal right-of-way. And because they're within the municipal right-of-way, municipal consent is required. We sent a letter to O&R as well as to the owner of the arrow. We're also conducting some additional research at this point, trying to get copies of any easements, easement, easements agreements, franchise agreements, once we obtain that information by the date that we requested it, which is August the 4th, then we will evaluate it and we will proceed from there. What I said at the beginning of this meeting, and I've repeated it throughout, I would like there not to be any comments by the public with respect to the Arab, with respect to any particular religious group. If you'd like to talk about that, the zoning ordinance and enforcing the zoning ordinance, I don't have a problem with that. What I'm concerned about is that any statements made here this evening could be perceived as being discriminatory and that is why they're not being allowed. Understood. Um, how would the township go about uh, having electrical cables buried underground? Sorry, sir. How would, how would the township go about having these cables buried underground so that a, this problem doesn't exist, and B, when we have, you know, storms and like Sandy, we don't have large power outages. I, I can't answer that question. Is that something that's possible? Well, some of the town, some of the newest communities that we have are built on the ground. I think that's one of the things that we've asked in the newer communities. I don't know what we would have to do on the older communities. That would be something I think you'd have to have. We'd have to ask Orange and Rock. Right. So, okay. So, um, all right. That, that's pretty much my only comment. 